So what are the best mattresses for side sleepers? A vast majority of people out there do primarily sleep on their side, including yours truly. So this is gonna be a pretty important list. We've tested over 200 beds here and we have our top picks for you. Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm a scene at home, and we've got our list of the best mattresses for side sleepers. If you've been searching for a solid mattress for your side sleeping needs, you clicked on the right video. One thing I do wanna mention is that most of the beds we're gonna be talking about are a bit softer on the firmness scale. This is because in general, side sleepers are seeking out a softer mattress that helps cradle their pressure points like their hips and their shoulders. So don't be surprised if I talk about a lot of soft beds on today's video. If you aren't really interested in soft beds, but you sleep on your side, I think you might actually want to try out a soft mattress. And one of the really nice things about online beds is that you can try them out for at least 100 nights, often longer, at home to decide if you actually like it or not. So maybe you're not really that interested in a soft mattress, but you want to try one out, it's virtually risk-free. We'll have a ton of information linked in the description about all the beds on today's list, including any discounts we can find up save you some money. We have our full written reviews, other comparisons, just a ton of stuff, so make sure you check it out. If you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel and let's just get into it by covering the general policies you're gonna be getting with any of these beds. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. All of these beds are gonna to ship to you totally free. Most of them will ship to you inside of a box. One of them will offer a service called White Glove Delivery. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. Once the bed arrives at your door, that's when your trial period kicks in, the one I just mentioned. And basically within the trial period, if you decide you don't like the mattress for whatever reason, like it is too soft or anything else, you can return it and get a full refund. The returns will be totally free except for one bed. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second. If you decide to keep the beds though, which most people wind up doing, you're looking at a 10 year warranty, often longer. So that's the general policies. We'll have more information about the policies linked down below in the description if you wanna learn more about them, including the whole returns process. It's actually really easy. We've done it over here and it is normally as easy as they say it is. Let's just get into the list itself now and we're gonna start with our pick for the best flippable mattress for side sleepers and that is gonna be Layla. Now Layla comes in two variations. They have the original version and then the hybrid. The only significant difference between these two is that one features foam for support and the other features coils. Now I do recommend if you are a heavier individual somewhere in the 250 pounds or more range, you should get a mattress with coils. Coils are gonna add a bit more long-term support and durability. You'll probably be fine on a foam mattress for a while, but you want your mattress to last for a long time. Most beds should last at least seven years, if not 10 or more. So I definitely recommend coils if you are heavier. Plus coils just add a bit more bounce to the mattress with some people like myself like. With Layla, it is flippable, like I mentioned, so you get two chances to get the firmness right in one bed. You have a soft side and a firm side, and on the original Layla and the Layla Hybrid, both are gonna be around a medium soft, which is very, very soft, really only great for strict side sleepers, and it's gonna provide you with a ton of pressure relief for your hips and shoulders. Now, if that's too soft for you, you can try flipping it over with the firm side. With the original Layla, the firm side is right between a medium and a medium firm, which is pretty accommodating for all sleeper types, including certain side sleepers. And then the firm side of the Layla Hybrid is gonna be just a hair softer than that, like a medium plus. So with Layla, it's just really advantageous to be able to have two firmness options in one bed, because if you are looking for a great side sleeper mattress, you wanna try something softer, but maybe that's too soft, you have a firmer option. With both versions of Layla though, you're gonna be getting more of a light airy memory foam feel. The copper infused memory foam used in the main comfort layers on both versions is nice and responsive in comparison to a lot of other memory foams. You're gonna sink into it and it will conform to your body's shape like a memory foam normally would, but when you relieve pressure from it, it snaps back into its shape much more quickly. And it's just not quite as dense feeling as a more traditional memory foam. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of memory foam feels in my mattress, but I think both versions of Layla are quite comfortable. When it comes to price, the original Layla is gonna be much more affordable. You're looking at slightly less than $1,000 after discount for a queen size. 
and then you're looking at somewhere around 14 to 1500 for a queen size hybrid. So if you are a lighter person and you don't really think you need coils, you can save a lot of money with the original Layla, but the Layla hybrid is a fantastic mattress. It's worth the extra money if you want something with coils. But speaking of heavier folks, we have our pick for the best size of your mattress for you. And that's gonna be the Safa Classic, the bed right behind me. Now Safa is one of our favorite mattresses. It has a very traditional inner spring feel that I think a lot of people are gonna find familiar and very comfortable. If you are a strict side sleeper though, you definitely have to pick the plush soft model of Sattva. It comes in three different options. It has a luxury firm or firm and that plush soft. The plush soft is actually closer to a medium on our firmness scale, which means it should be accommodating for all sleeper types. But the reason we picked this mattress for this list is because if you are heavier, generally you feel beds to be a bit softer than the average size individual. The opposite is true for lighter people. You generally feel beds to be a bit firmer. So if you are heavier, you're gonna want something really supportive. And if you want something with good pressure relief, then a medium firmness might be the really good sweet spot for you. And like I mentioned, the Sofa Classic is an extra supportive mattress. It actually uses two layers of coils. So if you are heavier, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Or if you're just looking for a mattress that's gonna be accommodating for all sleeper types, maybe you are in a couple and you have slightly varying sleeping preferences and you want something generally accommodating, the Sofa Classic in that plush soft model is also a good option. When it comes to price, this is more of a luxury tier mattress. You're looking at about $1,500 after discount, which I think is actually a pretty solid value for what you're getting. And I mentioned in the policy section earlier that there was one kind of odd duck that does things a little bit differently, and that's this bed. They offer white glove delivery, which means a local delivery team is gonna show up with a mattress full size, do all the setup for you, and even haul away your old mattress if you want them to. Although since they incur more of a cost shipping the mattress to you, if you end up returning it, they will charge you a small $99 transportation fee. So just keep that in mind if you're shopping for a Sattva. The next mattress we're gonna talk about is a personal favorite of mine, and that's gonna be the Purple Plus mattress. The Purple Plus is relatively new, and we think it's a fantastic option for strict side sleepers. So the Purple Mattress lineup goes the original Purple, the Purple Hybrid, then two versions of the Purple Hybrid Premier. They recently introduced the Purple Plus, which is slotted right between the original and the Hybrid. It doesn't feature coils, so if you are heavier, you might wanna look at the Hybrid Premier 4 or 3, but the Purple Plus actually features an additional layer of comfort foam, which softens up the bed quite a bit. We have it somewhere between a medium soft and a true medium on our firmness scale, probably closer to that medium soft, so it's gonna provide you with a ton of pressure relief. This is also gonna provide you with that super unique signature feel of any of the purple beds. The primary comfort layer is what purple calls their gel flex grid. It's gone through a couple of name changes, but the material remains the same. It's made of hyperelastic polymer. It's a super unique gel-like material that's really stretchy, squishy, and responsive, and gives all the purple beds that unique gel-like feel. It's kind of hard to describe, honestly. It's very unlike anything you've ever tried in a mattress. So if you're looking for something really new in your next mattress, I would highly recommend purple. Plus, because it is in that grid configuration, it has very little surface area, so there's a lot of room for airflow. It's not really gonna actively cool you down at night, but it does a really great job at staying temperature neutral, better than your average mattress. So it's a great option for hot sleepers as well. Next bed we're gonna talk about is actually a whole lineup of mattresses, and that's gonna be the beds from Helix. Helix is a really interesting brand. They do things much differently than most other online mattress brands. They offer a plethora of different options. If you include their mattress for heavy folks and their organic mattress, they have something like 15 different mattress options. That might sound a bit overwhelming, but when you go to Helix's website, they run you through a quick sleep quiz, doesn't take more than five minutes, and it gives you the best Helix mattress option for you. If you take that sleep quiz and you are a primary side sleeper, I'm going to bet they're gonna recommend the Helix Midnight, but either way, you should be able to find a solid option for you and your sleeping preferences. And Helix also has two different lineups of beds. They have their core models, which are thinner and more affordable. Then they have their Lux models that are much more luxurious. So if you have the extra money, I do think the Helix Lux models are worth the extra cash. They add a nice soft pillow top and they're gonna have a zone support coil design which can help alleviate some back pain. The feel of it will depend on which one you wind up going with. We have found the Helix beds we've tested to be in that more soft neutral category. Some of them feel more like memory foam, some of them feel less like memory foam. But again, because they have so many options and they have that sleep quiz, you should be able to find one that you find comfortable. When it comes to price, those core models are obviously much more affordable, somewhere around $1,100 after discount, and those Lux models are gonna be quite a bit more expensive, 
but again, I think it's worth the money if it fits your budget. Those core models though are perfectly good and very affordable, especially for a quality hybrid. The next mattress I'm gonna talk about is actually one that doesn't get brought up a lot, but I think if you are looking for a great mattress for side sleepers, this is gonna be a pretty compelling choice, and that's gonna be the Lisa Legend. Lisa is more well known for their original mattress, which is super popular. It's very reasonably priced, and it's generally very comfortable. We'll have our review of that bed linked in the description if you're curious. But the Lisa Legend is their more luxurious, upgraded hybrid bed for side sleepers. When it comes to firmness, it's right between a medium and a medium soft, which in my opinion is a really great sweet spot because it's gonna provide you with a ton of pressure relief, but it's not gonna be so soft that you can't sleep in other positions if you're a combination sleeper. It actually features two layers of coils, pocketed coils for its primary support base, and then a thin layer of micro coils, which actually makes the mattress quite a bit more responsive. So because of those micro coils, I do think the Lisa Legend mattress is gonna be a really great option for someone who might toss and turn at night. I know me personally, I'll sometimes start on my right shoulder and then wind up on my left, and having something responsive makes that whole process quite a bit easier. Plus, the Lisa Legend is just a very accommodating, comfortable mattress. It has a soft, neutral foam feel that I can't imagine anyone is gonna actively dislike. If you're specifically seeking out a memory foam feel in your mattress, this really isn't it. But again, I think most people will enjoy it. After discount, you are looking at somewhere around the $2,000 range for the Lisa Legend, which makes it a more luxury tier mattress. Again, we'll have information about all the beds from Lisa down below in the description, including their much more affordable original if you wanna check that out. But speaking of your budget, we have our pick for the most affordable mattress for side sleepers, and that's gonna be the NOLA original 10 inch mattress. This bed is gonna be around $900 for a queen size, and they usually throw in some extras like sheets and pillows with the mattress purchase. I actually often use the NOLA air foam pillow, which is very comfortable. And speaking of air foam, that is the primary comfort layer of this mattress. Most mattress brands do like to talk about the proprietary foams that make their mattresses super special, and most of the time there isn't really that much to talk about, but the air foam is actually worth mentioning. It's almost a mix of memory foam and a more responsive foam. You're gonna lay down on it and it will conform to your body shape nicely, but if you relieve pressure from it, it snaps back into shape much more quickly than memory foam would. Plus they claim it's a lot more breathable than memory foam. I'm not gonna say that it is or it isn't because most modern memory foam beds are plenty breathable, but I don't think you'll have any temperature concerns with the air foam. So the NOLA original 10 inch has more of a mixed or blended foam feel that I think most people will find to be pretty comfortable. And when it comes to firmness, it's right in that sweet spot I mentioned earlier, right between a medium and a medium soft. So it should be a fantastic option for side and combination sleepers. If you are super concerned about your sleeping temperature though, I would recommend the Brooklyn Bedding Aurora mattress. This is one of the best cooling beds we've ever tested. Most mattress brands do love to talk about how their beds sleep cool. Most of the time that is just marketing. But there is actually active cooling elements in the Aurora. If you feel the cover, it is actually very cool to the touch and will do a nice job at helping you sleep a little bit cooler. Sleeping temperature has much more to do with your bedding and your overall environment than the mattress itself. But if you are super concerned and you want everything possible to help you sleep cooler, this is a fantastic option. It is Brooklyn Bedding's more premium and luxurious mattress. It has a nice pillow top, and you can pick between three different firmness levels, the soft, the medium, and the firm. The soft is gonna be around a medium soft, so max pressure relief. The medium is indeed flat medium, so very accommodating. And then that firm is around a medium firm, which is probably not what you wanna go with if you're watching this video. When it comes to feel, I would describe the feel of the Brooklyn Bedding Aurora to be very similar to the Lisa Legend. Nice and responsive, yet very soft and neutral. I think most people will like it, or at least be able to get by on it. And when it comes to price, this bed is a bit more highly priced than some others. You're looking at about $1,900 for a queen, but Brooklyn Bedding is very consistent with their discounts. And I think after discount for a queen, you'll be paying somewhere around $1,500, which I think is a pretty solid value, although there's definitely more affordable options. And then the last bed I wanna talk about is sort of the editor's pick for this list, and that's gonna be the Casper Nova. You're probably familiar with Casper. They are one of the biggest bed in a box mattress brands and the Nova mattress is their upgraded mattress for side sleepers. When it comes to firmness, it's around a medium soft, so super pressure relieving, really nice for those hips and shoulders. This is one of my personal favorite mattresses. 
It also features what they call Zone Support Pro. What Zone Support means is that the bed is divided into separate sections with slightly varying levels of firmness, which is supposed to help keep your spine in a more neutral alignment while you sleep. For example, the center third of the mattress is a little bit firmer, which is where you carry the majority of your weight, and then the area where your shoulders are are gonna be a bit softer for more pressure relief. This is a more advanced zone support design than other beds we've tested. It's gonna be more advanced on the Casper Wave, but I think most people will like the fact that this bed has it. Casper describes the feel of the Nova Hybrid to be almost cloud-like, and I would have to agree. Just really soft, not really any memory foam feel in this mattress, really easy to rotate between sleeping positions, and shockingly supportive for how soft it is. After discount, you should expect to pay somewhere around $1,900 to $2,000, which again is pretty expensive, but I think if you have the budget for it and you're looking for a mattress that is super plush and might help relieve some back pain, Casper Nova is a fantastic option. All right, so that was a lot of information I just threw at you. And that leaves us with the question, what should you be looking for if you are a primary side sleeper? I would say look at softer beds. You might not think you like a soft bed. I know that people in my life say, oh, I have all this shoulder pain and my back hurts and I sleep on my side, but the bed that they're looking for is firmer. Again, just try one out. I think it might be what you need. And if you decide that it's not, you can always return it risk-free. But let us know what you think, which of these beds would you pick if you're a side sleeper? Write us down below in the comments section. We'd love to get your thoughts. And if you have any questions, write them down there as well. We'll do our best to answer them. Again, we're gonna have a ton of stuff linked for you in the description to help you with your mattress search. So be sure to take a look, including any discounts we can find up to save you some money. If you find this video at all helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We have all the resources to help you with your mattress search. But that's enough for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.